Hey guys, how you guys doing? Just a little earthquake here. Don't worry about it. School's still going on. No, just joking. Um, hey, I'm Mr. Goodson. Um, I like to have a good time in class. So here we go. This is Industrial Tech Projects, all right? In here, we're gonna be making stuff all right, with our hands and everything else. Um, so if you like that, stay in it. If you think it's just gonna be book learning, nah, none of that. Well, we have a little bit of that. All right, biggest thing in here. Oh, let me get get through my stuff. Um, uh, I'm Mr. Goodson. Um, we grade a lot on projects, all right? Um, so you, when you come in here, I expect you to work. Now, I know we were gonna start off remotely, and that's okay, because we got a lot of book work to get, not a lot, some book work, like safety tests and stuff, because in real life, I'm um, gonna we'll flip the camera here, uh, or, Let's just do it this way, since I can't flip the camera. See all the machines behind me? All those right there, everything behind me, except for three of them, you have to run. I don't have to, but if you wanna make a project, you're gonna have to learn how to operate those. And with that comes a lot of responsibilities. Like, hey, I wanna keep all of these. I wanna keep both of these, all right? I'm a very strict on safety. All right, just because I want you to be safe. I want you to come in with 10 fingers, leave with 10 fingers, all right? I've only had no major accidents. That means no one's lost a finger. Uh, knock on wood, wherever some wood's at. Um, however, I've had some accidents in here. I had one last year. I actually had a couple last year. And here's the thing, when students break the rules, there's a good chance you're gonna get hurt, and that's what they did. One of them broke four rules, and it's like, you just can't break those so many rules and not expect to something happen, all right? I'm gonna teach you the right way and about all the rules. So it's gonna be your choice if you wanna follow the rules or not, all right? I'm hoping you do, because I want you guys to make some really good projects. I'm trying to come up with some new ideas over the summer, that long extended spring break, we could call it, um, I would have been looking through a lot of magazines and stuff, trying to get some new ideas because frankly, I'm getting kind of bored with the ones we've had, all right? I mean, they're good projects with a lot of good learning. However, um, it's time to change some, all right? But we're always gonna be doing this. All right, here we go. We've got our CO2 cars. Now we don't start off with this. We start off with a hand block, which I do not have an example of that up here. Um, so we make our CO2 cars. You get to make it, you get to design it. Everything's you, all right? So whether you want a small one like this guy did or a regular size one or even a shark, you can do that. Then we're gonna move on to a thing I call three-day activities. You're in that area for three days. Now, I can't show you what we do. These are two of the projects that they get to do. Most of the stuff that we have in, three day, in TDAs or three-day activities um, are learning. Uh, you say, but we're always learning. This here, you can't really take home. It's stuff that you gain, like how to crimp plex, PEX piping together. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. Or how to wire up a light, how to do a switch, uh, how to weld, things like that. Or We have 10 different things that you can learn in, in TDAs. After that, we come back to small projects. With small projects, um, you make pins, a sound box, a shelves, a clock. Now a clock, we can actually laser engrave. We can laser engrave any of these projects, but we can laser engrave whatever you want on the clock. So like right there, someone wanted to do the Michael Jordan's uh, thing, so that's what they did. Um, college campuses, sporting teams are really popular. Um, yeah, so we can laser engrave those in there. And then our last project is my favorite project. It is the dreaded and almost famous egg crash car. You get the same CO2 car like you had when we made them, and we crash it into a brick that is about 10 feet away from the starting gate. And you have an egg in there, and you've got to make that egg survive. And guess what? You sit behind the brick. So if the egg flies out and splatters everywhere, there's a good chance you may get hit. That makes my day. All right. So, 
that's a bit about it for the course. Um, if you need to know anything about me, um, this is my 26th year here, or not here, my, my 20th year here. Um, what else? Oh, I have two daughters, uh, Riley and Tegan. Um, Tegan graduated from the University of Alabama last spring, and Riley graduated from the University of Kansas uh, two years ago, three years ago, something like that. Um, they can't be here because they have jobs. Yeah! Um, so that's about it. Uh, I have a dog. Her name's Sammy. She's a mix, kind of a mutt. She's part German Shepherd and part Husky. So she sheds constantly. Um, besides that, I used to coach wrestling. Um, used to also coach football way back in the day, volleyball. Yeah, that's about all of my coaching extent. Um, I do um, line judge college volleyball. So some days right after school, I'm out of here as quick because I might be traveling to uh, Missouri Valley College or somewhere. Um, so I have to get out. Uh, besides that, that's it about me. Um, can't wait to see you guys, though. All right? A lot of learning. Can't wait to get you in the shop and get you going. So until then, I'll see you in the shop.